हेलो स्ट्रेंड्स इन लेक्चर नंबर वन वी डिस्कस लास्ट स्टेटमेंट लेंथ ऑफ वन यूनिट इज मोर ऑन रिमर स्केल देन लेंथ ऑफ वन यूनिट ऑन सेंटीग्रेड स्केल एंड लेंथ ऑफ वन यूनिट ऑन सेंटीग्रेड स्केल इज इक्वल टू लेंथ ऑफ वन यूनिट ऑन कैलविन स्केल एंड द लेंथ ऑफ वन यूनिट ऑन कैलविन स्केल इज मोर देन लेंथ ऑफ वन यूनिट ऑन फॉरिनाइट स्केल ना वी हैव थ्री क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू दिस पार्ट इयर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज इयर लेंथ ऑफ वन यूनिट विल बी मैक्सिम ऑन सेंटीग्रेड स्केल फॉरिनाइट स्केल कैलविन स्केल रीमर स्केल यस ये स्टडी आई डिस्कस इन ए क्लास ए रीमर स्केल विल हैव मिनिमम फंडामेंटल इंटरवल एमंग दीज मिनिमम फंडामेंटल इंटरवल मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ डिवीजन इन द सेम लेंथ मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ डिवीजन इन द सेम लेंथ लेंथ ऑफ वन यूनिट विल बी मैक्सिमा लेंथ ऑफ वन यूनिट विल बी मैक्सिमा सो लेंथ ऑफ वन यूनिट विल बी मैक्सिमा ऑन रीमर स्केल एमंग दीज फोर स्केल्स यर Now, length of one unit will be minima on centigrade scale, Fahrenheit scale, Kelvin scale, Riemer scale. Now, length of one unit will be minima on Fahrenheit scale. You know here, yes, maximum fundamental interval on Fahrenheit scale. Fundamental interval is maxima. Number of division will be maxima in the same length. If number of division is maxima in the same length, length of one unit will be minima. Length of one unit will be minima. So, length of one unit will be minima on Fahrenheit. scale among these four scales now question number 3 length of one unit will be same on centigrade scale and fahrenheit scale fahrenheit and kelvin scale kelvin and reimer scale last centigrade and kelvin scale yes you know it here 100 degrees celsius is equal to 100 kelvin on fundamental interval so 1 degree celsius is equal to 1 kelvin 1 degree celsius is equal to 1 kelvin so what we can say here length of one unit will be same on centigrade scale and kelvin scale 1 degree celsius is equal to 1 Kelvin, hundred degrees Celsius is equal to hundred Kelvin. So one degree Celsius is equal to one Kelvin on centigrade scale and Kelvin scale. Okay, now the next topic: relation in between two different temperature scale. Relation in between centigrade Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit Kelvin. Kelvin Reimer, centigrade Reimer here. Yeah. Yes, you know from the previous classes, C is equal to five by nine of F minus thirty-two. Everybody knows that relation, but I do not want to discuss that relation in a class because this is the relation between centigrade scale and Fahrenheit scale. We have to find out the relation in between centigrade and Reimer, Reimer and Kelvin, Kelvin and centigrade, centigrade and Fahrenheit. So how many relation you can learn it here? Okay, we will not learn number of relations here. We will develop one master formula in a class. so that we can find out the relation in between any two scales in between any two scales so our motto here to develop a master formula in a class in our topic now okay one scale one more scale suppose this is centigrade scale is a fahrenheit scale in the first lecture i discuss one statement length of the all scales are same this concept will be helpful to discuss our topic in a class yes these are two scales having same length having same length suppose this is centigrade Scale is a Fahrenheit scale. What is lower fixed point on centigrade scale is zero. Upper fixed point on centigrade scale is hundred. Lower fixed point on Fahrenheit scale is thirty two degree Fahrenheit. Upper fixed point on Fahrenheit scale is two hundred twelve degree Fahrenheit. Now length of the two scales are same. So in the same length, in the same length, hundred minus zero that must be equal to two hundred twelve minus thirty two. So in the same length, hundred degrees Celsius. Minus zero degree Celsius is equal to two hundred twelve degree Fahrenheit minus thirty two degree Fahrenheit. Suppose relation number one. Now, if it is zero, it is thirty two. If it is hundred, it is two hundred twelve. Now, if it is x degree Celsius at the same height, it will be equal to y degree Fahrenheit. Yes, if it is x degree Celsius at the same height, it will be y degree Fahrenheit. So, in the same length, in the same length, x minus zero that will be equal to y minus thirty two. So, in the same length, x degree Celsius minus zero degree Celsius is equal to y. 
degree Fahrenheit minus 32 degree Fahrenheit is supposed to be taken as a relation number 2. Now dividing these two relations, suppose 2 divided by 1, it will come x degree Celsius minus 0 degree Celsius divided by 100 degree Celsius minus 0 degree Celsius is equal to y degree Fahrenheit minus 32 degree Fahrenheit divided by 212 degree Fahrenheit minus 32 degree Fahrenheit. Now, how this relation will be helpful to derive a master formula in a class? Attention should be here now. Yes, this is the lower fixed point on X scale. Is the upper fixed point on X scale? Is the lower fixed point on Y scale? Is the upper fixed point on Y scale? So we can develop a master formula in a class now here. Yes, in place of this X, suppose we are writing capital X minus. This is the lower fixed point on X scale divided by E is the upper fixed point on X scale minus lower fixed point on X scale. This must be equal to, suppose it is equal to capital Y capital Y minus lower fixed point on Y scale divided by upper fixed point on Y scale minus lower fixed point on Y scale. So this is a coming relation on the board here. X and Y are two different temperature scale. X and Y are two different temperature scale. Now in the first lecture I discussed in a class fundamental interval. Yes, what is fundamental interval is the difference in between upper fixed point and lower fixed point. So this is nothing but as a fundamental interval on x scale is a fundamental interval on y scale. So x minus lower fixed point on x scale divided by fundamental interval on x scale is equal to y minus lower fixed point on y scale x minus lower fixed point on x scale divided by fundamental interval on x scale is equal to y minus lower fixed point on y scale by fundamental interval on y scale. This will be the master formula in a class. By this formula, we can find out the relation in between any two scale. In between any two scale. Keep in our mind, x and y are two different temperature scale. Now, question is arising here. Sir, how this formula will be helpful to find the relation in between any two scales. Yes, I will do in a class now. So master formula on the board here, x minus lower fixed point on x scale divided by fundamental interval on x scale is equal to y minus lower fixed point on y scale divided by fundamental interval on y scale. Now question is arising here, sir, how to find out the relation in between any two scale? Yes, yes, suppose this x for centigrade scale, suppose x for centigrade scale, then it is c minus, what is lower fixed point on centigrade scale will be 0 divided by what is fundamental interval on centigrade scale is 100. So this value will be 100 is equal to in place of y if we are using Fahrenheit scale then what is lower fixed point on Fahrenheit scale is 32 divided by fundamental interval on Fahrenheit scale this is 180. Now simplify this relation it will come c is equal to 5 by 9 of f minus 32. This is the relation in between centigrade scale and Fahrenheit scale. Now question is arising here, what is the use of this relation? There are a number of questions are possible to take in a class here. Yes, this relation will be helpful to convert reading from centigrade scale into Fahrenheit scale or we can convert the reading of Fahrenheit scale into centigrade scale and many more questions we will take one by one in a class. Okay, question now, at what temperature centigrade scale and Fahrenheit scale will give the same reading? Very common question here. You know the answer from the previous classes here, but I will take on the board here. At what temperature centigrade scale and Fahrenheit scale will give the same reading? Yes, you know all strength the relation C is equal to 5 by 9 of F minus 32. This relation will now be helpful to give the answer of our question. At what temperature centigrade scale and Fahrenheit scale will give the same reading? Suppose X is the temperature. Suppose X is the temperature at which centigrade scale and Fahrenheit scale both will give the same reading. So X is the temperature at which centigrade scale and Fahrenheit scale both will give the same reading. This value we can put here now. It is X is equal to 5 by 9 of, yes, it is X minus 30. 32. Simplify x will come minus 40 degree. 
x will come minus 40 degree so minus 40 degree is equal to uh, minus 40 degree celsius is equal to minus 40 degree fahrenheit this is the temperature so at what at what temperature centigrade scale and fahrenheit scale will give the same reading this temperature is minus 40 degree okay next question at what temperature centigrade and rumor scale will give the same reading okay first we have to find out the relation in between centigrade scale and rumor scale and it will come with the help of a master formula x minus lower fixed point on x scale divided by fundamental interval on x scale is equal to y minus lower fixed point on y scale divided by fundamental interval on y scale is a master formula will now be helpful to find out the relation in between centigrade scale and rumor scale in place of x if we are using c c for centigrade scale lower fixed point on centigrade scale is zero fundamental interval on centigrade scale is 100 is equal to in place of y if we are using rumor scale minus lower fixed point on rumor scale is zero divided by fundamental interval on rumor scale is 80 this is the relation in between centigrade scale and rumor scale. Now simplify this relation here. You will get here C divided by 100 is equal to R divided by 80. Yes, after simplification it will come C is equal to 5 by 4 of R. Huh? C is equal to 5 by 4 of R or 5 R is equal to 4 C or 5 R minus 4 C is equal to 0. This is the coming relation on the board here. Now repeat the part here of the question. At what temperature centigrade scale and rumor scale will give the same reading? Suppose X is the temperature. Suppose X is the temperature at which centigrade scale and rumor scale both will give the same reading. So X is equal to C is equal to R. This value we can take here it is 5 times of x minus 4 times of x is equal to 0 or what is x is equal to 0 degree x is equal to 0 degree so what we can take ultimately 0 degree is equal to 0 degree celsius is equal to 0 degree rumor so at what temperature centigrade scale and rumor scale will give the same reading it is 0 degree it is 0 degree Okay, one more question now. At what temperature Fahrenheit and rumor scale will give the same reading? So we have to find out first the relation in between rumor scale and Fahrenheit scale. Yes, how it will come the relation? With the help of a master formula, x minus lower fixed point on x scale by fundamental interval on x scale is equal to y minus lower fixed point on y scale divided by fundamental interval on y scale. Now this relation will be helpful to find out the relation between Fahrenheit and Rebar scale. Suppose in place of X we are using Fahrenheit scale, lower fixed point on Fahrenheit scale is equal to 32. Fundamental interval on Fahrenheit scale is 180 is equal to in place of Y if we are using rumor scale, lower fixed point on rumor scale is 0 divided by fundamental interval on rumor scale is 80. So it is coming F minus 32 divided by 180 is equal to R divided by 80. This is the coming relation on the board in between Fahrenheit scale and rumor scale. Now what is our question here? At what temperature Fahrenheit and rumor scale will give the same reading? Suppose X is the temperature. X is the temperature at which Fahrenheit scale and rumor scale both will give the same reading. So X is equal to F is equal to R. Now this value we can put in this relation. In place of F is equal to X minus 32 by 180 is equal to in place of R we are using X divided by 80. After simplification X will come minus 25.6 degree minus 25.6 degree so what we can write here minus 25.6 degree is equal to minus 25.6 degree Fahrenheit is equal to minus 25.6 degree rumor so at what temperature Fahrenheit and rumor scale both will give the same reading yes it is minus 25.6 degree so we have taken three questions in a class now here. At what temperature two scale will give the same reading? Zero degree Celsius is equal to zero degree rumor. 
minus 40 degree Celsius is equal to minus 40 degree Fahrenheit and the last one here minus 25.6 degree Fahrenheit is equal to minus 25.6 degree Reumer. Now a graph is in between degree Celsius versus degree Fahrenheit then a straight line is passing through four options are given positive x axis and positive y axis negative x axis and negative y axis positive x axis and negative y axis and the last negative x axis and positive y axis okay one thing should be clear here yes graph is in between degree celsius versus degree Fahrenheit. What does it mean by this here? If it is degree Celsius versus degree Fahrenheit or if it is degree Fahrenheit versus degree Celsius, it should be clear what is the difference in between both here. Okay, suppose I write here degree Celsius versus degree Fahrenheit and here degree Fahrenheit versus degree Celsius. It should be clear here degree Celsius should be along y axis. A left hand side value will be along y axis and right hand side value will be along x axis. Now here degree Fahrenheit versus degree Celsius means yes degree Fahrenheit will be along y axis and degree Celsius will be along x axis. Keep in our mind left hand side value will be along y axis and right hand side value will be along x axis. So graph will be in between y versus x. y versus x means degree Celsius versus degree Fahrenheit or degree Fahrenheit versus degree Celsius. So it should be along y axis, it should be along x axis, it should be be along y axis it should be along x axis but our question is not related to this right now our question is related to this here degree Celsius versus degree Fahrenheit so it should be along y axis and it should be along x axis so first we can take a graph in between degree Celsius versus degree Fahrenheit in which degree Celsius will be along y axis and degree Fahrenheit will be along x axis so the graph in between degree Celsius versus degree Fahrenheit, degree Celsius should be along y axis and degree Fahrenheit should be along x axis. So we can take a graph now here. Yes, this is the graph in between y versus x. Y means here it is degree Celsius and x means here it is degree Fahrenheit. So this is the graph in between y versus x or degree Celsius versus degree Fahrenheit. So here degree Celsius versus degree Fahrenheit. Now what is our question? From where a straight line is passing? Is it passing through positive x or negative x? Passing through positive y or negative y? It is very very simple. Okay, it is so simple to find out from where our straight line is passing here. How to decide it here? First tell me now here C is equal to 5 by 9 of F minus 32. That is the relation on the board in between Celsius scale and Fahrenheit scale. Now one more question is arising, sir, which straight line, which straight line is passing through that graph here now? Yes, C is equal to 5 by 9 of F minus 5 by 9 into 32, multiplying inside it by 5 by 9. A relation is converting into this term. Now this relation, I want to compare with the equation Y is equal to MX plus C dash. Yes, two equations we are taking now here. This is the equation of a straight line. Everybody know in a class now here. Here it is C, here it is C dash. Here C for centigrade scale. Here C dash for a constant term. Now everybody know this is the equation of a straight line. Comparing both relations now here. Here C is along y axis. C is along with axis, y axis. And F is along x axis. And here we have taken on the board now. Yes, C is along y axis. And F is along x axis. So this is the equation of a straight line means is also the equation of a straight line. Now the question here is how to decide it here our straight line is passing from where so simple to take in a class now here how to find out this one now yes simple put c is equal to 0 put c is equal to 0 get the value of f Put f is equal to 0 get the value of c. Everywhere you can apply this concept to draw the straight line. By putting x is equal to 0 get the value of y. And by putting y is equal to 0 get the value of x. These all data will now be helpful to draw the straight line. I repeat again here. Put c is equal to 0 get the value of f. Put f is equal to 0 get the value of c. Yes I am doing on the board now here. Tell me now, if C is equal to 0, if C is equal to 0, the value of F will come 32. Huh? Check it here. If C is equal to 0, F will come 32. And if F is equal to 0, C will come minus 5 by 9 into 32. You can check it here. 
So if c is equal to 0, <coughs> f will come 32. If f is equal to 0, c will come minus 5 by 9 into 32. Now these data will helpful to draw the straight line. Is the equation of a straight line we know all. Uh, is the equation of a straight line you know all students here uh, so put c0 get the value of f put f0 get the value of c now these data how will be helpful to draw the straight line simple c is equal to 0 here huh? if c is equal to 0 here what is the value of f is 32 32 will be towards the right hand side 32 will be towards the right hand side if it is minus 32 then it will be towards the left hand side but here it is not minus 32 it is 32 so 32 will be towards the right hand side so it is 0 if c is equal to 0 f is equal to 32 so this value will be 32 Again, if f is equal to 0, f is equal to 0 here, f is equal to 0, c is equal to minus 5 by 9 into 32. Yes, is not positive, it's negative value here. So if f is equal to 0, c is equal to minus, if it is positive will be here, if it is negative will be here, minus 5 by 9 into 32. I repeat again here, if c is equal to 0, what is f is equal to 32? If f is equal to 0, c is equal to minus 5 by 9 of 32. Now picture is clear here. Yes, a straight line is passing through positive x and negative y. Positive x and negative y. This will be the straight line. Will be the straight line of this equation. c is equal to 5 by 9 of f minus 32. Is the equation of a straight line which is passing through positive x and negative y. So I think it's clear now here, what is answer of our question here, a straight line is passing through positive x and negative y. Now the question, a graph is in between degree 49 versus degree Celsius, so then the straight line is passing through. Yes, it must be clear there is a difference in between the previous question and this question. Previous question was related to degree Celsius versus degree Fahrenheit. Now the question is degree Fahrenheit versus degree Celsius. As I told you in a class here, degree Fahrenheit will now be along y-axis and degree Celsius will now be along x-axis. And our question here now, a straight line is passing from where positive x-axis and positive y-axis, negative x-axis and negative y-axis, positive x-axis and negative y-axis, negative x-axis and positive y axis. First, first, first we can take a graph here. Okay. What will be the graph in between degree Fahrenheit versus degree Celsius? So the graph in between degree Fahrenheit versus degree Celsius, degree Fahrenheit is along y axis, degree Celsius is along x axis. So this is the graph in between degree Fahrenheit versus degree Celsius. Question is same again from where a straight line is passing. Okay, first tell me now here, c is equal to 5 by 9 of f minus 32 is the equation of a straight line. Yes, again simplify now, c is equal to 5 by 9 of f minus 5 by 9 into 32. Comparing this equation, y y is equal to mx plus c dash. Yes, you know all students here now, is the equation of a straight line is also equation of a straight line. After comparing both relations here, it should be clear c is along y axis, but here c is along x axis. So if we are comparing these two relations here, after comparing these two relations, yes, C is along y-axis, but here C is along x-axis. F should be along x-axis, but here F is along y-axis. What does it mean by this here? Yes, this is not our straight line equation, which we have required here. Is the equation of a straight line? No doubt here, but this is not the required equation for our question. Which equation? We will take in a class now here. I write again, C is equal to 5 by 9 of f minus of 32 or we can write f minus 32 is equal to 9 by 5 of c or f is equal to 9 by 5 of c plus 32 yes this equation we can compare by the equation of a straight line y is equal to mx plus c dash 
Yes, you know all here. This is the equation of a straight line. Yes, after comparing both relations, it is clear here f is along y axis. Now here f is along y axis. C is along x axis. Here C is along x axis. So no doubt here is the equation of a straight line. But this is not the required equation of that straight line here. Is the equation of a straight line which is required equation of our straight line. So f is equal to 9 by 5 of c plus 32, or y is equal to mx plus c dx is the equation of a straight line. Now question is same. Again, from where that straight line is passing. What I told you in a class here now, how to draw the straight line. Anywhere we can draw the straight line here. By putting x 0, get the value of y. By putting y is equal to 0, get the value of x. Here x means c. Here y means f. So put now here f 0, get the value of c. If c is equal to 0, get the value of f. So take it now. Yes, tell me now. If f is equal to 0. If f is equal to 0, what is the value of c will come here? Yes, it is minus. If f is equal to 0, yes, what is the value of c will come here? Minus 5 by 9 into 32. If f is equal to 0, what is c is equal to minus 5 by 9 into 32. Another, if c is equal to 0, what is the value of f will come? 32 here. So these are the data will now be helpful to draw the straight line. By putting f is equal to 0, we are getting the value of c. By putting c is equal to 0, we are getting the value of f. Now these data will be helpful to draw the straight line. Put f is equal to 0 here. What is c is equal to minus 5 by 9 into 32. 32 minus means toward this side. So if f is equal to 0, if f is equal to 0, c is equal to minus 5 by 9 into 32. Again, if c is equal to 0, c is equal to 0 here, what is f is equal to 32? 32 will be on this side. So c is equal to 0, f is equal to 32. If f is equal to 0, c is equal to minus 5 by 9 into 32. Picture is again clear. Yes, from where our straight line is passing? Yes, it is passing through positive y axis and negative x axis. Or you can say negative x axis and positive y axis. So this will be the straight line. Huh? This will be be the straight line of which equation f is equal to 9 by 5 of c plus 32 no doubt is the equation of a straight line so from wherever this straight line is passing through negative x axis and positive y axis Okay, which one of them is a straight line for degree Celsius versus degree Fahrenheit? There are four straight line. One straight line, two straight line, third straight line, fourth straight line. Options are on the board here. Yes, question is related to degree Celsius versus degree Fahrenheit. Means degree Celsius should be along y axis and degree Fahrenheit should be along x axis. Yes, what I discussed in a class C is equal to 5 by 9 of f minus 32 c is equal to 5 by 9 of f minus 32 or c is equal to 5 by 9 of f minus 5 by 9 into 32. Yes, what I told you in a class here, how to draw the straight line. Huh? How to draw the straight line by putting c 0, get the value of f. By putting f is equal to 0, get the value of c. So put here, if c is equal to 0, if c is equal to 0, what is the value of f is equal to 32? If c is equal to 0, f is equal to 32. And if f is equal to 0, what is the value of c is equal to minus 5 by 9 into 32. So these data will now be helpful here. Yes, c should be along y axis. So it should be degree Celsius and it should be degree Fahrenheit. So degree Celsius along y axis, degree Fahrenheit along x axis. Now take here c is equal to 0. What is c is equal to 0? f is equal to 32. Yes, f is equal to 32. Here is my plus 32. Here is minus 32. So it is plus 32. Check it now again. If c is equal to 0, what is f is equal to 32? Next, if f is equal to 0, if f is equal to 0, what is c is equal to minus? Yes, upward positive, downward negative. So it is minus 5 by 9 into 32. I repeat again. If c is equal to 0, what is f is equal to 32? And if f is equal to 0, if f is equal to 0, what is c is equal to minus 5 by 9 into 32? Check it now here. 
which one of them is the straight line here yes third one third one is the straight line here so yes straight line number one is a wrong value straight line number two is a wrong value yes third one is the right equation fourth one is a wrong equation here so yes which one of them is a straight line for degree Celsius versus degree Fahrenheit yes it is answer three yes it is C Okay, which one of them is a straight line for degree Fahrenheit versus degree Celsius? Degree Fahrenheit should be along y-axis and degree Celsius should be along x-axis. In the previous question, it was degree Celsius versus degree Fahrenheit, but here it is not. Here it is degree Fahrenheit versus degree Celsius. So degree Fahrenheit should be along y-axis and degree Celsius should be along x-axis. Now question is again same from where a straight line is passing. As I told you in the previous questions here, f is equal to 9 by 5 of C plus 32 no doubt is the equation of a straight line comparing by y is equal to mx plus c dash by comparing y is equal to mx plus c dash if it is the equation of a straight line is also equation of a straight line f is along y axis f is along y axis and c is along x axis so no doubt is the required equation for this question here now same way we can do in a class here put c0 get the value of f put f0 0 get the value of c so take it now if c is equal to 0 f is equal to 32 and if f is equal to 0 c is equal to minus 5 by 9 into 32 here now so c is equal to 0 f will come 32 if f is equal to 0 c will come minus 5 by 9 into 32 now these data will be helpful to draw the straight line tell me now if c is equal to 0 c is equal to 0 f is equal to 32 yes downward negative upward positive so c is equal to 0 f is equal to 32 here Last, if f is equal to 0, f is equal to 0, c is equal to minus. Yes, if it is positive, will be here. But here is not positive, here it is negative. Negative means minus 5 by 9 into 32. Yes, picture is again clear now. A straight line is passing through negative x-axis and positive y-axis. So this is the right diagram on the board here. Is not right diagram, is not right diagram, is not right diagram here. So if the graph is in between degree for a night versus degree yes yes which one will be the valid straight line yes answer will be a